find a way to perform surgeries using alternative methods that cause less pain, shorter recoveries, less prescriptions needed. Michael Hill reports on one doctor's effort to stem New Jersey's drug addiction crisis. This was only 40 hours ago. And 61-year-old Donald Chervenek is walking 40 hours after knee replacement surgery at St. Barnabas Medical Center. This was amazing. A word his surgeon, Dr. Michael Reber, chief of St. Barnabas Joint Institute, would use to describe new state-of-the-art technologies for knee and other joint replacement. The orthopedic surgeon says he and his team are the first in New Jersey to use the Mako robot for precision surgery. For instance, they did a CAT scan of Chervenek's knee to see the damage, plan how much to remove, and exactly where to replace it. Then while we do the surgery, we have a robotic arm uh, here that will uh, match exactly what we're doing um, and it uh, prevents you from veering off your plan. There you go. And, uh, and it controls everything that you're doing in surgery. The team can watch the live movement of the multi-million dollar robot to make sure it's completed its course. And it's not something that's a fad. You've seen the, the other computer assisted joint replacements being done. They didn't work. They weren't precise. This uh, new software is uh, incredible and it really does uh, work. Dr. Reber says that means quicker recovery combined with a new approach before surgery. St. Barnabas gave cryoanesthesia to Chervenek, who had arthritis so bad he could barely walk. Two weeks before surgery, he received cold therapy to freeze the nerves around the knee to block pain for up to two months. After the procedure was performed, leaving the office, I was in very good condition. When you mean very good condition, I the pain was walk, gone? Yeah. I, well, it didn't resolve, but it was much, much better. Dr. Reber says he began using cryoanesthesia before surgery within the last few months. The results after surgery? He's uh, taking very few uh, painkillers. Uh, he's awake, alert, able to participate in therapy. Already? From day one, from the day of. How are you managing the pain? Are you having any pain after the surgery? There is definitely some pain post-op, so occasionally you need a pain pill, usually before therapy sessions. Dr. Reber says that's the goal of cryoanesthesia, to minimize pain and recovery and minimize the use of addictive narcotics. Like post-op, if you're taking narcotics, you're sedated, you're tired, you're, you're not motivated, uh, the pain will stop you from um, rehabbing. You know, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it later. You hear all the time because they're in too much pain today. Dr. Reber, a team surgeon for the New Jersey Devils, says the cryoanesthesia combined with the robotic surgery will produce the kind of results surgeons have longed for, accurate joint replacement and patients with minimal pain and mobile within hours. I couldn't imagine anything being better than where I am now. Just what Dr. Reber and team ordered. In Livingston, Michael Hill, NJTV News.